This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting on a topic that is stick with the management. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover, they are we will see what is test equipment management, test equipment management overview, test equipment management process, how it works, what is the process, master data for test equipment management, that means calibration inspection, what is the master data required, then we will create a test equipment, today we will create the test equipment, then task list, as usual we will be creating the task list, okay, then maintenance plan, we will create a single cycle maintenance plan for this, then we will do the planning and then processing of the calibration inspection and we will see configuration related to calibration inspection okay so these are the topics we will be covering in the test equipment management okay so basically uh, before uh, going into this actually the the one which we are discussing today we call it as in the pm module the whatever we are discussing today it is the integration between PM and QM modules, land maintenance and quality management modules. So in our PM module, we call this as a test equipment management, this, this functionality, test equipment management. Okay, whereas same functionality in the QM module, they call it as, they call it as, Calibration inspection. Calibration inspection. Okay. So some so in the in our PM module we call it as test equipment management. In the QM module it, they call it as calibration inspection. Uh, basically both are same. Okay. So test equipment. Test equipment is used in many companies for performing quality inspections so normally in the industries in the manufacturing industries normally they produce products so once they produce the products they will do some quality checks on the product okay so to do quality checks they will use, they will use some test equipment okay so in order to ensure that the test equipment used always fulfills the defined performance criteria most companies regularly test and calibrate their test equipment. So periodically they will check whether that equipment is working properly or not. So here we are checking the equipment basically. Okay, periodically, regularly they will check like once in a month or once in six months or once in a year after every one month or after every six months or after every one year normally they will do the calibration okay so that is called test equipment management it is nothing but checking whether that equipment is working properly or not they will they will check so using the functions in the component you can manage equipment data plan and schedule inspections so here they will create test equipment they will do all the planning and then they will schedule it then the calibration is performed okay so you should be you should use the component test equipment management in your company if individual data is maintained for each piece of test equipment that is one thing test equipment is regularly calibrated periodically they calibrate it okay calibration inspections are planned and scheduled for different maintenance orders and strategies okay, if they have strategy then we can use that okay a result history is maintained for each piece of test equipment so if you want all these things then you need to implement this test equipment management okay so this is what i just explained so whatever we are discussing today it is an integration between pm and qm modules so in our pm we call this as a test equipment management test equipment management in our pm whereas in the qm module they call it as calibration inspection okay now both are same basically okay so now the process is basically uh, as usual they create maintenance plan okay in our pm module and when we schedule it it will generate an order they call it as a calibration order along with that along with that it will generate a inspection 
okay along with that it will generate a inspection this is an extra thing here normally in our preventive maintenance what happens when we schedule the maintenance plan normally our order will come right automatically but here along with the order there will be an inspection part external so once the lot gets generated here in the qm module they will do the calibration they will enter the calibration results in the lot they will do the valuation and finally they will do the usage decision so in the usage decision they mention whether that equipment can be used or not whether it is usable or it has to be uh, discontinued that they will mention in the usage decision okay uh, so basically here what we will be doing is first we will create the test equipment test equipment okay this is from pm side and in the qm module they will create characteristics mics this i will show it in the system this is a responsibility of qm team qm team will do that then if required you have if you have multiple cycles then we can define the strategy if you have only one cycle then not required then we will create the task list we already discussed the task list in our preventive maintenance classes and in the task list for the operation they will assign the mics this is the extra thing so in the task list in our pm task list in the operation we will assign the qm mics this is the integration actual integration this way. so qm mics are assigned to the pm task list to the operation this is the integration after that we will create the maintenance plan maintenance plan and then when we schedule the maintenance plan orders will come so this is a planning activity okay so this we will see first we'll, we need to start with the equipment creation so i'll create a test equipment okay so uh, you might be knowing this uh, uh, all of you might be knowing this ph meter huh? uh, you do you know ph meter ph meter in your 12th standard you might have done chemistry practicals so you might have used this ph meter right is that correct uh you might have checked the ph value of solution correct this ph meter this is normally used in the quality control labs so this i will create as a test equipment okay so let's create this as a test equipment so i log into the system okay let us go to s4 on the system So I'll go to IE01. I'm just creating a new equipment. Cre create equipment. So here, equip there is equipment category. So if you go here, in our previous sessions, we created equipments with M machines, leads, vehicles, and we created with PRTs. So today we will create test equipment Q. Equipment categories Q. Select that. Click on until enter. So uh, as usual, we are into our normal equipment uh, tabs and subscripts. Okay, so I'll create pH meter. pH meter. Okay, you can enter all the other data. Okay, uh, you can enter test equipment. Somebody created a object type. That's okay. Enter that object type. You can enter other information. You can enter all the other information huh? okay manufacturer cattle pillar india limited this i entered authorization group what is authorization group maintenance you can enter all the other information model number all those things you can enter let's go to location or plant 710 go to organization you can enter the cost center planner group work center And then if, if you want to install it at a particular location you can install it but i will not install in any location as well, no okay if you want you can install it okay so now save the equipment so i created ph meter as a test equipment this ph meter as a test equipment okay uh, now 
so i created the equipment now the next one is task list so before creating the task list we need to have the mics in the system this master inspection characteristics these are the parameters checked during the during the calibration of the equipment so here the qm team creates this mics so you need to assign these mics into the operations to the operations in the task list and also at the task list header you need to assign the inspection point 300 and show you this in the system okay so now what is our equipment our equipment is this one this is our equipment so let's take the equipment i'll make a note of it so now let us create the task list we already discussed creating the task list in detail so let's create the task list ia01 i am creating equipment task list enter the equipment enter the profile or first click 